Some El Pasoans are observing Memorial Day by gathering at Concordia Cemetery this morning to honor the fallen soldiers. Thank you for joining us tonight for this special Memorial Day newscast. I'm Carla Draxler. KTSM 9 News anchor Susie Castillo was at today's special ceremony and brings us this story. At least 270 veterans are buried here at Concordia Cemetery. These are just a few of the U.S. military members that are being honored today. On this Memorial Day, people are remembering the men and women who never came back home while serving our country. We enjoy so many freedoms that so many other nations uh, will never enjoy. And I think that it's uh, important for people to just, you know, take a minute and, you know, bow your head and say thank you, you know, because their service and sacrifice deserves to be remembered. It's a day to help remember what these fallen heroes did and never let their death be in vain. We feel that every veteran who ever served our nation, regardless of what conflict, what war, their service and their sacrifice deserves to be remembered. At Concordia Cemetery, the veterans buried there date back to the 1800s, some whose headstones need to be replaced. While the Veterans Association will provide military headstones, money still needs to be raised to install them. Many of them no longer have families or friends that can come and honor them, so we come back and we Pay tribute. During today's commemoration, there was a special tribute to black Buffalo soldiers from the 19th century. 41 Buffalo soldiers are buried at Concordia. Some of those in attendance helped build a monument that now stands at the cemetery. Because without them, none of us would have enjoyed the success in the military that we have enjoyed. Okay, so that's why I say they are our heritage and we are their legacy. We have to keep going the things that they started. Nonprofits continue to help create a place to remember veterans from Buffalo Soldiers to those needing a new marker. To find out more on how you can provide a headstone for these veterans, head over to our website, ktsm.com. Reporting from Concordia Cemetery, Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News.